All right, John, thank you very much. Well, do gas reward cards really work? Well, with gas prices nearly 20% higher than they were at the beginning of the year, who wouldn't love to save at the pump? I do. I would like that. Our financial expert, Chip Cummings, is here this morning to talk about gas reward cards. And uh, good to see you, buddy. You too. This is an interesting topic, to well, be honest. Everybody wants to save money. Right. You know, that's the bottom line, especially with gas prices approaching $4 a gallon. If you can save some money, why not, right? Right. The surprising thing is there's now 450 cards across the country that offer specifically a reward for buying gasoline. No kidding. I didn't they, realize oh, there were that it's many. It's fantastic. And it's not just the oil companies. You know, you've got your Shell cards, your Exxon, Mobil, Texaco, those kind of cards. But the things like uh, the Chase card, mm -hmm. uh, American Express, one of the best ones. We'll talk about that in a minute. Okay. But these actually give you anywhere from 1% to 5% back on your gas purchases. All right, so where do we start in this process? Of course, you know, how do you filter through all those 400 plus cards and go, <laughs> which are the right ones? Well, start close at home. Whatever okay. you're carrying now, as far as a credit card, check with them. They might have a specific program that you just have to call and have it added to your existing account, oh, okay. and you can save money that way. So that's where I'd start. And uh, let's maybe talk about some of the ones that you thought were pretty good. You want to talk, hit some of those? Oh, you bet, yeah. Um, the, the best one in the country right now is what's called the Pentagon Federal Platinum Rewards Card. It is a tough one to get, but it's 5% cash back with an unlimited cap. Now think about that. At a $4 per gallon gas bill, that's 20 cents a gallon that you could save. We see long lines at the pumps waiting for something like that. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. So that can add up. And this is for people that drive quite a bit. You know, right. if you're just driving back and forth to work 10 miles a day, that may not be the best thing to do. Um, we mentioned the American Express Blue Card. That's right. the one that they've got 3% on gas, but check this out 6% rebate on groceries as well. That's so if you've got a big grocery bill, you can save there too. Right. That's another biggie. And uh, this is the one I, I know that I have, a, I have a Costco card. Which with it, you know, you can use the gas at the pump right there. Right. But uh, is that a good savings? Costco, Sam's Club, anything like that, you can save. Typically, it's going to be three, four percent. But here's the trigger: there is a membership fee, of right. course, to participate. So if you're buying other things at those clubs, then great, take advantage of that. But otherwise, it, it might offset the savings. So one of those that goes without saying, at least you would think it would be. Make sure you pay these things off. Well, that's true. A lot of people get these cards. They put the gas bill out there on the on the credit card, and then they don't pay it off. Of course, then the interest eats into it, and you miss all the savings. Right. It ends up costing you more <laughs> than you what would have did spent I do? originally. And so, yeah, we're big time against that. And, and talk about this one, because you had a, this was a, one of those bold points. Beware of the wholesale clubs. Oh, yeah. They're springing up all over the country where you actually buy bulk gasoline in advance. Okay. And these clubs charge you two, four, six hundred dollars at a time and guarantee a certain level of gasoline price for an extended period of time. The problem is, is you're paying for it in advance, and as a result, that's money that's wasted you could be using elsewhere. So usually not a good idea. So be careful and do your homework when it comes to these gas cards. That's cards. it. Start at home. Start with your first credit card. If not, then look at some of the others. Chase BP Visa, very good card. Hard to qualify. Uh, again, they don't, right. want, uh, they don't want just anybody in the program, but these rewards are, are really attractive when it comes down to the, the final number. You want to plug your show? Oh, the Financial Fitness Show. Yes. I told you, yes. We're actually, uh, as of the end of the month, we're going statewide. Yes. Uh, they're picking it up in uh, markets around the state, so we must be doing something right. Uh, heard on the weekend, Saturdays here in Grand Rapids at 8 a.m. on WJRW. Very good. So you we can bet. say we knew Chip when. <laughs> All right, buddy. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh